Oh my gosh, the appraisal came in low. Now what do we do? We're not going to stress about this. It's just information. We're going to process it and we're going to come to an agreement with the other party on it. So if you're the buyer and let's say you offered on a house that was asking price 320 and it came in and it appraised at 315. So there's a $5,000 gap. Your lender is not going to want to lend based on that 320 purchase price that you had said. They're going to lend based off the 315 valuation. So that's going to leave you having to come up with that extra $5,000 if we don't negotiate. Now the good thing you can do is you can adjust the purchase price with the seller because the appraisal just didn't come in. Now, sometimes people can do it where the seller will just be like, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll drop it down to that 315. Other times they'll be like, no, we don't want to come down anymore. We want to get the 320. And then you would say, well, you know, we can split it maybe. So then you're both coming out $2,500. Um, but that would just get added onto your closing costs. So there's different scenarios and different things that you can do, but that's basically the biggest thing. Now, after it does appraise and it doesn't appraise for the proper value, there is a five day period where both parties can decide if they want to move forward or not. If let's say it appraised 30 grand under what was the purchase price, um, the seller can be like, no, I'm not going to sell then. I'm, I'm just going to cancel this and it's just not going to work out for me anymore. And the buyer can also say the same thing. I can't come up with $30,000. $30, this just isn't going to work for me anymore. And I also can't meet halfway in the middle. So it happens once in a great while out there, but it's just information. We just process it that way and decide what we're going to do moving forward. If you have any questions on the appraisal process, please feel free to reach out to me.